In this demo, we're actually going to show you how simple it is to do some of the coupling um, operations that I had been talking about. So let's go ahead and uh, start off with frequency and amplitude coupling. And to do that, I'm actually going to bring up my custom program again. And we're going to go back to this channel one button, bring up that menu, and go back to the dual channel menu here. So within the dual channel menu, we actually see a few things that are related to amplitude and frequency coupling. So let's start off with amplitude coupling and turn amplitude coupling on. And so um, once we do that, it actually turns it on and you can see from the um, LC, the graphical display that it is a uh, coupled now with this little star here. So anything I change on channel one, uh, the amplitude and offset will be changed on channel two as well. So let's go ahead and make a simple change. So I'm going to press parameters and amplitude and we'll just change the amplitude uh, to one volt peak to peak and maybe we'll change that offset over to 500 millivolts all right so if i go over to this channel 2 menu now what we'll see is that channel two is also now one volt peak to peak and 500 millivolts. So anything that you change on channel one is gonna be reflected on channel two. Something a little bit simpler for you to uh, change uh, dual channel uh, on. So let's go ahead and go back to uh, channel one real quick and go back to that dual channel menu. And we'll actually uh, look, take a look at frequency coupling. So frequency coupling is gonna give me a ratio of channel one uh, to channel two. So let's make uh, let's do a quick example where we change that coupling setting. So right now uh, the frequencies will be matched, but if I actually change the frequency of channel two to be twice two x, uh, the frequency of channel one, we'll see what happens there. And then again. So here we have a one kilohertz uh, frequency signal on channel one, and then on channel two, we have a two kilohertz. So um, let's go ahead and make this a little bit more interesting and change the waveform from a uh, sine wave over to a square wave. So now we have the same frequencies, um, but a different waveform for channel one and channel two. So that's gonna be really useful for you that need to mix and match uh, waveforms, but wanna uh, have same amplitudes or frequencies. So let's go ahead and go back to bench view and take a look at what our waveform looks like now. So let me go ahead and, oops, I forgot to turn on the, the output, so let's do that real quick. So channel two, output on, channel one, output on. So now I should be able to see my waveform on my for my scope. So um, you can see that I have more cycles with channel two than channel one. Channel two is this green, but uh, you can see this uh, measurements on the bottom. You'll see that the frequency of channel one, the yellow channel is one kilohertz and frequency of channel two is two kilohertz. And the peak to peak value is uh, virtually uh, identical within the error uh, value of the scope, measurement value of the scope. So it's 1.13 volts for channel one and 1.14 volts for channel two, the square wave and the sine wave. So just that easily, I was able to make changes from channel one and channel two and uh, have them uh, coupled together. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, change the, the waveforms again. And let's uh, go back to uh, channel or to phase coupling because that's going to be really important for you if you want to have your phase aligned between your two channels. So in order to do that, let's go back to my program. And uh, I'm going to turn off uh, channel coupling actually for frequency and uh, amplitude. Done there. And uh, on channel two, I'm going to change that waveform back to a sine wave just so we can see that um, to the phase uh, relationship a little bit better and change the parameters, the frequency parameter back to one kilohertz just to match channel one. One kilohertz. And uh, if we go back to bench view and make a measurement, let's see, resume.
we'll see uh, now we have two waveforms and there's an offset in the phase so let me uh, align the scope a little bit better so that channel one and channel two is right on top of each other you can see actually the phase large phase difference that we have so this large phase difference is because channel one and channel two start independently so when I, whenever I press the on button that's going to start off the um, those waveforms and you're not going to be able to align those very easily between channel one and channel two so here uh, the the phase difference is uh, very obvious so in order to just change that uh, phase to start off the same all I'm going to do is go back to this parameters button parameters and go to the phase menu and there's this button called sync internal that's all it takes to uh, uh, align your phases so let's go ahead and uh, start that up again and take a look at our new waveforms here we go did nothing else press that sync internal button and now our phases are uh, fairly well aligned all right, so let's go back to our uh, agenda and see what else is in this demo. So we're going to talk about channel tracking. So if you do want to have the identical same waveform on channel 2 and channel 1, we can do that very easily uh, with a true form generator as well. So let's go ahead and um, just go back to this channel 1 button and dual channel. And I can actually go back to this tracking button which we used earlier to create that differential signal, but you can uh, create identical signal, and that will then create uh, the same signal between channel one and channel two. So channel two, if I go to the channel two menu, it's gonna only allow you to turn the output on and off. And um, on channel one, we have a little bit more of those uh, parameters that we can change. So now channel one and channel two are going to be exactly the same, phase aligned, amplitude aligned, frequency aligned, and you will have the same outputs on channel one and channel two. Just another easy feature of true form generators.